News for Jack's I-Team investigator Vic Michalucci sat down with Brydigan's brother and widow today as they reflect on this latest arrest. When did you begin suspecting Shanna was going to be arrested and charged for this? Jared was a very kind person. He did not have enemies. He wasn't involved in any shady things. You know, in, in Shanna's interview last year, she mentioned we ran in different circles, her and Jared. Yeah, you did. <laughs> and he was in good company. Jared Bridegan's widow, Kirsten, has strong words for 36-year-old Shanna Gardner and Gardner's husband, 35-year-old Mario Fernandez. Both are now charged with first-degree murder, conspiracy to commit murder, and solicitation of murder. Brother Adam Bridegan is grateful for this development. I would just say that I feel right now a sense of relief, a, a small bit of peace that the, the pain has transferred. The pain of not knowing and wondering if everyone would be, you know, put behind bars, that, that pain will now transition to are we going to fully get justice? Is, is everything going to play out right? But we can't control that. Solicitation to commit first degree murder. State Attorney Melissa Nelson, flanked by a team of detectives from Jacksonville Beach and the ATF, announced Gardner's arrest yesterday in Washington State. She moved there with the two children she shared with Bridegan after the killing. Body camera footage from the Orange County Sheriff's Office shows the March 16th arrest of Fernandez. He's calm and conversational with deputies as they take him to jail. Sir, one more question. Can I, can I get in contact with my brother about my dogs? Who are your dogs? I have, I have three dogs. They're, a town, they're at a townhouse, but I just need my brother to be able to take care of them. The first arrest came in February when police caught Henry Tennant, a man who rented a room from Fernandez. He has since pleaded guilty to second degree murder, agreeing to cooperate against the co-defendants. Careful not to compromise the case, Bridegan's loved ones say they're not backing down in their push for justice. Justice in the legal system for me looks like the harshest punishment available. You know, they took a life of a father, of a loving husband. They took a father away from four children, a son away from parents, a brother away from siblings, an uncle. They took a lot. And so for them, the least that I expect to happen is that their life is now spent behind bars where they can think about everything that they've done to our family, our friends, and the children. I did reach out to Gardner's attorney. He told me yesterday that he had no comment about the pending case. Have also spoken with the attorney for Fernandez in the past. He says he's going to let the facts play out in the courtroom, not in the public. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station.